Hi, my name's Helen Forbes and I'm here today to talk to you about the wealth creation concept. Together with my husband, we work to help people create freedom, choice and independence using a combination of wealth creation concepts. So today I'm going to talk through an overview of the wealth creation concept uh, to help you get started. So this is the wealth creation concept. There's four aspects of the concept the income that you have, your expenditure, any assets that you own and your liabilities. So income and expenditure, I think um, everybody understands those concepts. Your income is the money that you have coming in from any source. So for many people that is their salary from an employed job or maybe they're self-employed and have income from clients that way or are a business owner or even maybe something like dividends from stocks and shares or a pension income, something like that. Any form of income. Your expenditure is the money that you have going out for your living costs. So that's your rent, your food, your clothes, um, your household bills, money you spend going out, that kind of thing. Now assets. Many people think that things like having a car or owning their own home is an asset. And in one sense of the word it is. However, in terms of wealth creation, we regard an asset as something that is um, going to put an income into your pocket. So an asset is an income producing vehicle. So your car, which is maybe have a, has a um, loan on it, or your home, which maybe has a mortgage on it, they wouldn't be assets because they're actually costing you money in the form of liabilities. Liabilities is any money that you owe to anybody. So something like a car loan, we've already said, or maybe a credit card bill, something like that is a liability. So moving on to the wealth creation concept there are, broadly speaking, three types of people with regard to how they manage their money. Now, the first type, they have their income come in each month, and that could be a low level of income, it could be a high level of income. People in their with six-figure salaries can, can fall into this category, um, and they have their expenditure going out each month. So the money comes in, and then they spend it, and then it goes out. So everything that comes in goes out each month, they don't have any assets, they don't have any liabilities, um, they just literally spend what they earn and carry on like that year in, year out. The second type of person also has the income coming in and like all of us, they have their expenses that they, go, that they pay each month, for their living costs. Um, but some of their expenses come in the form of liabilities because these are the people that um, perhaps spend more than they can, um, sorry, perhaps live beyond their means because they borrow money to pay for things like cars or maybe holidays or maybe things on credit cards. So they're actually spending more money than they've got. Um, and so that liability therefore increases their expense. So the money comes in, money goes out, but they're also spending money on liabilities. Now these people are quite often um, people who are looking wealthy. So maybe they like to have designer clothes or they spend money on a fancy car, something like that, in order to look more wealthy than they are. But they haven't really built up any assets. So actually they're just borrowing money in order to look wealthy when really they're not. So how does that differ from people who genuinely are creating wealth? So again, money comes in and we all have um, regular monthly costs that we need to spend on things like food and bills. But what wealth creators do is that they do spend money on liabilities, but they use those liabilities to buy assets. So an example of this would be if you um, bought a property to invest and you took out a buy to let mortgage, which is a liability, but it's actually buying you another asset which is going to provide you with more income. And the idea is that the income you have from the asset is enough to pay for the liability and to give you a bit of surplus. So then what do you do with that surplus? You use it to invest in more liabilities and more assets. Or actually, you could just invest in assets which give you more income. So what people who are creating wealth are doing, after they've paid their, their basic monthly costs, they're using other people's money 
to create assets which will continue to give them more income. Now, if your goal is to create financial freedom, which I think is uh, what a lot of people are aiming for with wealth creation, that's getting to the point where you actually don't need to do your job or your self-employed occupation anymore. What you're doing is you're reinvesting the income that you've got either through liabilities into assets or possibly directly into assets that are gonna create more and more income from you. So you continue to create more income which can enables you to buy more assets and you keep reinvesting that in order to build the level of income that you have outside of your job or your self-employment until you get to the point where the income that you have from your assets will cover your monthly expenditure, any liabilities that you've got and give you the lifestyle that you want. Once you get to that point, you no longer need to do your day job because you've got the other income coming in from your assets that you've generated yourself and you're no longer reliant on anybody else to give you that income. So how does that relate to having an online marketing business? Well, what you're doing there is the online marketing business is your asset. And what you're going to do is you're going to invest money in yourself in your own self-development because you need to learn how to do this successfully. So there's a cost there for any training that you want to have. And there will also be some cost in terms of things like online marketing to get, your, um, to get your business up and running, to get it out there so that people know that it exists. So you will have some cost there with liabilities. However, by building the asset, which is your online marketing business, you're gonna create this income stream from as many different sources as you choose in order to increase the income that you've got. Now, there's gonna be some work involved in setting up this business, of course there is. Um, but once it's up and running, it will continue to provide you with an income 24 seven. So regardless of what you're doing, if you're asleep, if you're on holiday, um, if you're out doing something that you enjoy, once it's set up, your asset will continue to provide you with an income and you no longer need to rely on the income that you've got from your job. So that's the wealth creation concept. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Um, if you've liked this video, please click the like button and for further content, you can subscribe by clicking on the button. There's also a link in the description below which will take you to our website so you can find out more about how we can help you to create financial freedom and to achieve your own wealth creation goals. So please click on that link to go to our website and find out more. Thanks for watching.